concise. I had a uh, class in college. It's actually kind of funny. It's kind of a funny story. Um, talking about being concise. Um, I had a class in college. And you're gonna laugh at me. It was an amuse. It was a music appreciation class. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. So I, I was a biology and chemistry uh, double major in college. and um, But I went to a liberal arts college. So I had to take uh, a bunch of stuff outside of my areas of focus. And uh, I'm a musician. I'm a musician. And I, uh, cause I'm, I actually write all the music and, and make all the sound effects for the game that, that you, that you hear and all, all the music on the YouTube channel, all, all, anywhere you hear music on the website. Um, that's all me. I, I wrote all that. And, um, and I, so I, I like music a lot. I like writing music. I like listening to music a lot. So I took this music appreciation class cause I mean, it sounded cool to me. Uh, it was one of the hardest classes <laughs> Those, those things are supposed, those are supposed to be blow off classes, you know, for fun, because my biology and chemistry program classes they were they were tough, they were hard, and uh, that music appreciation class though, man, I mean, just what was expected of you was a lot higher than what I thought it would be, and one of the things, one of the components to that was the tests, so the tests were all written. They were all essay. There, I mean, there was no multiple choice. It was essays. But the essays had to fit, each essay that you wrote had to fit on a on an index card and it had to be no more than five sentences. So if you learned five paragraph papers in college, then it was basically the topic sentence right of each paragraph in a five paragraph paper but you kind of had to you kind of had to write the paper in your head first so you knew what the topic sentences were going to be and and you had to do this i mean you know there were multiple questions you had to do this for multiple questions for the hour long tests or however probably if, if i think it was an hour most of my classes were an hour back then um so I mean, uh, so it, it so you could not be verbose, and you had to be concise, and so kind of what you just saw me just do right there was part of that training, and that that was a cool thing about my liberal arts experience was I I uh, number one I learned how to think, so I you know I didn't go to school for programming or coding or motion capture or music. Uh, or sound design, or animation, or uh, 3D work. I didn't go to school for any of that stuff, but I, I taught myself how to do it because I really learned how to learn at, at college and uh, at my liberal arts college. So it was, it was just a, a great experience, and you know it, it keeps paying dividends even today. And you just saw a good example of it. Uh, if you would like to hear more about that uh, experience and you'd like to see more of this, uh, go to docbrockgames.com. I put my water bottle down there. There we go. And uh, click the YouTube subscribe here. And then uh, scroll down the page. And you can read about kind of the alpha features that I've got going on. What else can you see? Oh yeah, the two characters that I have in the game, you can read about them. Oh, you click through some cool screenshots. Make sure to make sure to read what's going on. Uh, you can learn a little bit about some of the features of the game that way. And then put your email address in at the bottom and I'll notify you when the game's released. And then come back to YouTube and we'll reminisce some more. I'll see you then.